Hi there students. In this video I wanted to look at a couple of words related to astronomy. We've got solstice, we've got equinox and there's also another one equilux which is more unusual. Okay the solstice is the longest or shortest day of the year. Okay so normally the uh, longest day of the year, um, the summer solstice, is on the 21st of June, but it can be on the 20th sometimes. And the winter solstice, the shortest day, is normally on the 21st of December, maybe the 22nd sometimes. Okay, so um, the solstice is when the um, sun is at its maximum angle north, okay, woods, or the maximum angle southwards, okay. So this gives you the longest day or the or the shortest day. Now the equinox, um, this is between uh, the two, yeah. It's when the sun is directly over the center of the equator. And this is where the day when day and night are approximately equal in length. The reason I say approximately is because you have another word, equilux, and that's the moment in time when day and night are exactly equal. And this is halfway between your summer and winter solstice. But the equilux depends where on earth you are. It depends how far so south or north of the equator you are. Um, whereas the equinox is always at the same time. Yeah, the equinox is when the sun passes the plane of the equator. Yeah, uh, and it goes across. The, the equilux will, prob will be on the same day, probably, but it changes a little due to your angle north or your angle south. It's one of the things I noticed that uh, when people who are on a, the same uh, line as me in the earth but much further south, the sun sets much earlier than it does further north. Okay, so the solstice, the summer solstice. Um, yeah, when I was a, uh, a kid, I used to go to the uh, summer solstice at Stonehenge. Yeah, there used to be a, a free festival there. Yeah, but, well, that was made illegal many years ago. Okay, so the solstice, the summer solstice, the longest day, the winter solstice, the um, longest night. Yeah, and then uh, we're, we are now... Uh, coming towards the um, autumn equinox. Yeah, I think that's on the 23rd of September this year. It's where um, the sun moves over the equator. Well, in this case, from, uh, yeah, from south to north. Um, and day and light are approximately equal. You can have an, a spring equinox in uh in the spring and the autumn equinox in the in in autumn 23rd of uh september okay and then equilux where the length of the day and the length of the night are exactly equal okay so um solstice formality these are all um scientific words for for astronomy yeah, I think probably the solstice is the one you will hear m most most commonly. Yeah, people tend to celebrate the solstices. Um, they, they very often they have a special celebration for the longest day. Yeah, and another well, and another one for the longest night. That's actually Christmas, although it's a couple of days later. Um, the Saturnalia. Yeah. Um, OK, so enough. Oh, anyway, I've done formality. Wait a second. I haven't done the origins of these words. OK, so solstice comes from Latin solsticium. Yeah. Uh, which is the summer solstice. Yeah. Um, which comes from sto to stand in Latin. The 
equinox okay this word's easy because equal equi and nox night so day and night are equal and equi lux lux is light in latin as well equal light equal light and equal dark so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now solstice equinox and equilux